Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2019 April kits. This is my first layout using these gorgeous new kits. I just got these the other day and I have everything out here. I can't even describe how much I love these papers. The colors are so stunning and all of the embellishments. There's a lot of the Paige Evans Horizon collection. This is a sheet of exclusive puffy stickers. There's some Chamel Sparkle City, some Heidi Swap Color Fresh, some Sunny Days for Maggie Holmes, uh, some Pocket Life cards that are always exclusive every month and just so many gorgeous things. And uh, my favorite piece though is this. This is an exclusive stencil in the color kit that Paige Evans designed. And I think, honestly, it is the most gorgeous stencil that I think I've used in all of time. It's so pretty. Wait till you see it on this background. We also got three colors of Lindy's Stamp Gain Magical Powders. And wait till you see how those work. They are so pretty. I was so excited with how this layout turned out because, yeah, I'm just going to take you through it here. I, I'm using some thick white cardstock as my background and I just coated all of it with some clear gesso and then I pulled out that modeling paste from Art Basics that we got a few color kits ago and my palette knife and I'm just going to scrape some over this Paige Evans stencil and wait until you see how pretty it is. You definitely want the color kit this month. If you like stencils, then this one just creates, look at the beautiful pattern that this has. It's like a, a really gorgeous tile. I think this will go perfect with all of her, her Horizon collection because a lot of the papers in that collection were inspired by her travels and a lot of, uh, you know, tiles and patterns that she saw along her travels. And so that's what this stencil reminds me of. And all I'm doing here is just scraping down in no you know, not a particularly neat way. I'm not trying to cover the entire stencil. I want it to be just kind of in little splotches on the background. And the modeling paste is kind of thick. And so when it dries, this is going to give it some really fun texture. It's going to feel real bumpy when I touch it with my hand. So I let that dry and just look at the cool texture. You're really going to be able to see it when I start to add color to this. Now, these are the three colors that we get in the color kit. And like I said, they're from Lindy's Stamp Gang or Lindy's Gang and they're powder. And now there are several different ways to use these, but the way I'm going to use them today, you really, I know I say this a lot, but you can't mess this up. You just want to spray down some water. And then I'm using my little scoopy tool here that I've had for years. It's a cricket. It reminds me of a little teeny tiny spoon. And I just sprinkled some powder on there and I'm using my brush with a little bit of water to help the powder liquefy and then start to spread. And all the color is just gonna sort of run and spread in between all of that color, or all of that uh, texture paste. And you're gonna be able to see the shapes of the uh, stencil. So we get a peachy orangey color that's got some shimmer to it. And then this pink color that is flat. And so at the end here, when all this is dry, you're really going to be able to see the shimmer from that orangey peachy color. We also get a blue color. I'm not going to use the blue color on this. At this point, I just want lots of orange and peach and pink. And you can totally control how light or how, how dark you want this. I'm just kind of dumping the powder right onto it spreading some water on it and then moving it around with a brush, turning the paper and just letting it kind of run in between all the grooves of that texture paste. This is very easy. It looks complicated, but I'm telling you, anybody can do this. Uh, I know a lot, a lot of times mixed media backgrounds, they look so overwhelming and intimidating. And, uh, you know, your first impression is that looks so hard. I could never do that. But you, you're watching me do this. It's, it's not rocket science. It's, scraping, spraying, dumping powder, and then just spreading it around. It, it, the color and the paste and the stencil do all the work for you. I mean, look at that pink. Look at that. I was making this and I was just ooing and aahing over all of it. Okay, it, this, is, this part's dry. Look at the shimmer 
from the peachy color. That one, like I said, it, it looks like it has gold powder mixed in with it, whereas the pink one is kind of flat. Okay, I'm also going to use a cut file. This is one of the April cut files. It's a rolled flower, and I went ahead and did one off camera just to make sure I wasn't a total idiot and could do this because these kind of cut files intimidate me because they're very dimensional, but it was surprisingly easy. I cut a couple on one of the Horizon papers, that periwinkle blue color, and you just start from the outside and start to roll it up until you get to the end. And then at the very end, there's a little flat piece and you just fold it under, glue it down. And then I used a little circle punch to create a little right there out of uh, some harder or thicker paper to use as a base. And I just glued it down. And there you go. And you could wind these up as tight as you want or as loose as you want. I did some more off camera here using some of the soft pink cardstock and I made them a little bit smaller. And you can see how dimensional they are and they were fun to make. They do take some time, but I think the end result is really, really cool. Now I am going to use a black and white photo today because I knew that this was going to be over colorful, I guess you could say. And um, I just did not feel like searching all of my photos to find the perfect colors to match. So I just went with a black and white one because I really wanted these colors to show. Now, I start with this idea of using all of those cute citrus and peachy pieces from this Dear Lizzie sticker sheet. Totally changed my mind, put all that back. I'm gonna save those for a different layout. Um, I decide to stick with brights on this layout. Um, I thought about going softer, but I just had to go with these bright pinks and oranges. So I pulled a couple of the Pocket Life cards here, more of an aqua turquoise one there, and then a periwinkle. I'm going to call that blue color periwinkle. It's a dark periwinkle, but that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I'm also going to pull some other colors. I'm not going to use the blue powder because it's, it's a little bit different shade than what I wanted. So I pulled out the blue Lindy's spray from last month from March and I'm going to blend that in. Now, let me say that the pink and the orange are completely dry and I went in over this with the blue and it did not blend. So it did not you know, reactivate when I got it wet with water, which was really, really nice because I did not want the blue to mix with the orange. It went right on top of it, and I really like that. I also pulled in a shimmers that we got a little bit ago. It's uh, called Frostbite, and it is that perfect uh, periwinkle blue color that's going to match the blue in those flowers. So I want some of that aqua, but I also want some of that periwinkle blue color, and I am loving how this turned out. You guys, this is the coolest background. You have to get this stencil. You have to get it, and you have to get this color kit. I mean, look at the colors. That powder was so cool. It was so neat and fun to work with something different, and that's definitely what that is. Okay, look at this background. I had to show it once more. Oh, y'all. I almost just wanted to leave it as is and just frame this and stare at it every day because it turned out so nice. But I am going to keep working on it here. Now, I pulled out some of the uh, flowers. These are all from Horizon here on the right. There's a whole packet of Paige Evans Horizon flowers, flower clusters, leaves, stems. You can kind of build your own bouquets there. Um, I'm going to cut this edge of these little dots here on this Pocket Life card just because the colors match. I wanted to incorporate that somehow as a layer uh, on my photo there. And I'm going to use it on the right just because it's got the perfect color scheme for what I'm going with here. And I'm just going to start tucking in flowers. Uh, I'm going to put some on top of the photo because there's some open space there to the right of her face. And I situated her on the left side kind of of the center line of the photo so it looks or the the paper so it looks like she's looking across the layout now i debated about whether to add in that bright green color of some of the stems and leaves but in the end i wind up liking it so i'm going to incorporate that color not on the background but in some of the embellishments and I'm going to incorporate not all of those dimensional rolled up flowers, but I am going to use a couple of those. I just went ahead and made several. I wasn't sure how many I wanted to use or how I was going to incorporate them around the photo. So I just went ahead and cut a full sheet of them. And then um, I've already got them made if I want to use them on another layout. So here's where I'm going to come in with some tangled thread. I'm going to use some of the periwinkle blue color over on the right. And then here's where I'm going to add another pop of that green. I'm going to use some green thread down below the right corner of the photo. 
and then I'm going to add a touch of orangey peachy thread over to the left. And again, I just love adding thread because it adds awesome texture and color, and it just adds to the whole messy, artsy look on the background, I think. You may not like that, and that's fine. I know a lot of people have told me that they just can't get into thread, and that's that's fine. You know, everybody's different, and hey, whatever floats your boat, I say go for it. If you like it, use it. I did glue everything down at this point, and then I went through the 2x2 two two paper pad with all of the different um, icons and phrases uh, from Horizon, and I found a couple that I'm going to fussy cut out, and I'm going to use those as embellishments. So, you know, don't always think that you have to use those 2x2 two two papers as an actual 2x2 two two paper. If you want to cut something out of it, then cut it out. That's exactly what I'm doing here. You would never know that these little flowers that I'm sticking in there came from the 2x2 two two paper pad. I also cut out that heart, which I'm going to use later. Here's where I'm going to add another rolled flower. This is one of the periwinkle ones, and I'm going to add some hot pink thread under that because I felt like I needed a pop of that pink right there. So again, thread is an easy way to do that because uh, it gives you quick color, texture, right in a spot where you need it. These are from Chamel Sparkle City. I'm going to add a couple of these enamel dots, and they're glittery. They're so cute. I'm going to add two of the bright aqua turquoise color ones. And then this puffy sticker sheet, you guys, oh my goodness, every color is on here. You've got so many words, and they're watercolor. They've got like a watercolor effect. You've got phrases. It's just the best generic sayings you know you can use them on anything and i'm going to use that circle that said love this life because there was a little circular shape cut out where the mixed media orange part is and that little circle just fit right into it and so that made that easy uh, an easy decision to use that and then i'm going to add a couple of hearts right around it now here i wanted to show you um some of the these are the exclusive acetate alphas I just wanted to show you a quick look at all the colors that come in there. I pulled out these aqua ones and they, they match perfectly. I was so excited. I'm just going to go with my daughter's name. Her name is Paige. And so I thought, you know, I'm not going to spend hours trying to agonize over a special title. I'm just going to use her name. And thank goodness that there were all the letters in that blue color because I think it's the perfect color for that space. I'm going to add in the heart. I'm going to add in a little green dragonfly sticker because it, it gives a pop of green to that area. And then another pink rolled flower. And I love how it looks like she's looking across at all the flowers and embellishments. I'm going to add in another flower to the left. And then, oh yeah, I'm going to add in some of these little phrase stickers from the Dear Lizzie sticker sheet. I am getting close to being done, but this layout... I have to say, I think this is one of my favorites that I've made in a while, just because the colors and that stencil, oh my goodness. I'm in love with the stencil. Can you tell? I'm telling you, if you've ever gotten a color kit, get this one. You do not want to miss out on this stencil. I can't wait to use it in a different way. Another way you could use it is to spray it with some spray ink and then flip it over and stamp it down onto a background. That would be cool too. But uh, maybe I'll do that for my next one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm almost finished here. I'm going to add in some lines with a pencil and then use my fine tip Sharpie here to write some journaling. And I do one more thing here before we're finished. I want to add something over to the right since this paper is so just white. I wanted to add a little strip of blue to the right. And I'm going to use the paper that I cut all my rolled flowers on since it was perfect for this. I'm only going to use an edge of it. So I'm going to use my... Uh, paper trimmer there to slice off some of the right and then use my edge distressor to kind of ruffle up and distress the edges and then just attach it to the back there and then off camera I do add some machine stitching along that edge with just a straight stitch of white so it's you know you can't really tell at the end but I, uh, I like that stitching detail, detail, and I also stitched through Paige's name. But that's the final layout. I love how this turned out. You guys have got to get these kits. I mean, come on. Look at these colors. I'm speechless at how bright this is. I'm, I'm really excited about using the stencil again and using those powders. I can't wait to use the blue one. 
Oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry I'm so excited, but um, these colors just, mm-hmm, they're so pretty. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did not mention. Um, did I mention you need to get the color kit? Yes, get it, get it, get it. Um, anyway, check out hipkitclub.net. You'll see all the info on all the kits. And I will talk to you soon. See you in my next video. I hope you guys have a great week. And thank you for watching.